uh, Mohit, firstly, I think a warm welcome to you on uh, Filmy Shilmi and congratulations on Flight. Thank you so much. Now, of course, to make a film like Flight on such a scale is absolutely remarkable, especially independently as well. I think it's such a great achievement. Um, so what were some of the larger challenges you kind of had to overcome to bringing the story and bringing the sort of visuals that we will see in the film uh, to the big screen? Well, uh, challenges are a dime a dozen right now, <laughs> at least for this film. Uh, see, the first attempt or rather the first uh, objective uh, uh, that we always had in mind was to make a film that has not been done before, at least, uh, yet keep it entertaining, yet keep it uh, thrilling, yet keep it uh, engaging at the same time. Uh, but and I hope we've achieved that. Uh, right. And uh, apart from that, yeah, the challenges started from day one from writing the script. Uh, <laughs> how to keep everybody engaged with one single character doing his antics and stuff like that and then they they proceeded further ahead to how do we get the money to right. make a film like that. So we worked really hard and saved some money and uh, we put in all our own money into this film. And uh, then it was about creating a set of a, a, an aircraft which looked absolutely real. Then it was about lifting the aircraft up in the air so mm. that we could achieve the real kind of turbulence that we wanted to. Then there was another... Uh, then it was getting the VFX right because if the plane does not look real and I often tell everyone that there are uh, uh, the main hero of this film is the plane. It's the <laughs> aircraft and I'm the second fiddle to the aircraft because if the aircraft doesn't look real and doesn't perform well, uh, I don't think they're going to like me uh, either. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I, I could go on about it the entire night. No, absolutely. It's true. And I think um, it is, like I said, it is very different. Um, in fact, you know, as it is quite a unique film for Hindi cinema, we've not seen many sort of airplane thrillers um, or action films or survival stories as such as much in, in Bollywood. How do you think the film will kind of pave way for more such survival action thrillers? And what do you think was perhaps lacking before Flight? See, I, I can't comment on others doing something like this or not, but uh, hopefully, if the audience receives it well, uh, there'll be more films like this. Basically, I think, uh, like in Hindi, we call it Bhed Chal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We've seen a lot of it here. Like, you know, one erotic thriller gets made and is successful. Everybody wants to make that. One love story is successful. Everybody wants to make that. Yeah. I think what, uh, what we don't realize is that... Uh, there's one film that was successful in a particular genre and it's more about telling interesting stories. Hmm. You tell an interesting story, no matter what genre it is, it'll work, hopefully, if you told it right. So I don't know whether others will try and make something like this, but our attempt is always going to be to create films like this, to create content like this, which has not been done before because uh, somewhere for us, it gets rather boring. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're right. And I think... Um... Obviously, Hollywood has showcased many such stories before, like you've had Liam Neeson's Nonstop, and then there was also, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know, Flight Plan as well. Um, so how conscious were you uh, and the team of not making sure, of making sure that you were not emulating or perhaps being heavily inspired by these films, per se? Well, the, the, the easiest thing that we had was uh, all the films that you mentioned are about passenger aircraft. Yeah. So lots of people out there. So uh, that's why we just took everybody out and we put one guy in the plane. Uh, it saved us a lot of money also because we didn't have to hire a lot of people. Yeah. So that was also a deliberate attempt. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the basic premise only turned out to be completely unique because there was only a single guy stuck in an aircraft. It was not about uh, this aircraft which has a malfunction, which has something, something going wrong, whether it's non-stop or whether it's... Uh, uh, even uh, all the airport series that had come earlier, mm. uh, way back, uh, they were pretty, uh, uh, they were, I would call them disaster films rather than uh, survival films. Ah, yes, yes. Ours is more of a survival film. Mm. So uh, that's, the, that's the difference that we had. Mm. Of course, uh, now you sh there is an aircraft, uh, there, will be a, uh, there will be an altimeter out there. We will have shots of the altimeter, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we were inspired from somewhere or the other. 
Fine, absolutely. Yes. In fact, since you mentioned Survivor, I'm going to segue into the next question, actually, because you play a business tycoon who obviously gets caught up in very extreme circumstances, which are obviously beyond his control and perhaps whatever he might have seen in life. Um, obviously, besides the pandemic, um, has there ever been a time in your life when you two have been caught up in such an extreme situation, which you've never you never foresaw and never uh, was prepared for? And how did you deal with that? And did that did that situation necessarily help you with the preparation of your character and for the circumstances you face in the film? Well, uh, not such an extreme situation at all. <laughs> apart from going broke, yeah. apart from not having money, that's, those are the, those are the yeah. simple ones that I would rather say. And uh, as strange as it is, uh, we've often realized that, uh, I always keep saying God has a very dark sense of humor. Uh, so he will throw something at you which is completely unexpected, which you could have never thought about also. Uh, it could be in a pleasant way. It could be in a non-pleasant way. Uh, he's probably trying to test you. But yeah, the only thing that one does is believe in God. I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer of God. And uh, I do pray every day. Uh, so I think that gives you the motivation. That, that gives you the energy and the... the the will to fight, uh, as as we have our hashtag. Let me plug it in. Fight to survive. <laughs> hashtag fight to survive. I think you hashtag know what. Right? I think it's it. I think it's it makes very big sense actually especially given the sort of climate that we're in as well with the pandemic and everything but yes but thank you for sharing that and I just want to say that being broke is not a small thing it's a very big thing and you've managed to overcome that so kudos to you for fighting that phase yeah but we could go broke again if this one doesn't work by the way oh so no. we take those kind of risks oh bless you but I'm sure I'm sure it will pay off the risks I'm sure it will I think I think, you know, Mohit, you've been an actor since, what, 2003. You've been active in the industry for so many years. Um, I believe your first film, which I think it was a South Indian film, it obviously won a National Film Award as well. It was quite highly received. So, I mean, having done that and having worked throughout, the, uh, throughout so many years, um, how important is a film like Flight for you and your career at this stage in life? See, as an actor, it's extremely important. Uh, because, mm -hmm. yes, I did take a self-imposed sabbatical from acting, uh, yeah. I, I did not uh, like the kind of work that was coming my way. And uh, yes, as an actor, it's really, really important that if uh, finally uh, there is a role that I wanted to do and I've finally done that, I hope people take notice of me uh, in this particular role. And I, I, I don't want to sound uh, uh, politically correct about it. Of course, I would want good kind of work coming my way. Of course, I would want to work with uh, awesome directors and uh, right now we have some brilliant talent in the film industry that we work in. Uh, mm. So yeah, it, 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 it really means a lot. Sure. I, I'm really glad you mentioned this sabbatical actually because it was quite, I mean, it was quite striking to me because when I was obviously preparing for our chat today, I saw that in 2010's era, you did what, Dulha Mil Gaya, and then you had like a short film as well. But then there was a massive gap until Flight had, you know, just been announced recently. Um, so what was it about the scripts that were offered to you that you were not comfortable with? And what kept you going during that phase? Because I believe it must have been quite difficult for you of not being able to go on set and do what you love the most, right? Uh, see, what, what really happens uh, is that obviously the dynamics function in a different way when you're not playing the protagonist of the film. And uh, what generally happens is that uh, sometimes the duration is long, sometimes something goes wrong. I, I don't blame anybody for anything because... I don't like putting it like that. Uh, when I was working in the Tamil and Telugu industry, I was playing the protagonist. And yeah. I always wanted to do... And trust me, I don't think anybody under the sun does not want to play the protagonist of a, of a feature film. Yeah. So if anybody says, no, I'm looking for good roles, I just feel that's not completely true. <laughs> I wanted to play the protagonist in every, anything and everything I did. I, I'm very greedy as an actor. Uh, Yet, I got some interesting roles. Uh, I thought they were interesting uh, during the scripting stage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, while shooting for it, I had a lot of fun. But unfortunately, by the time the films came out, uh, they were reduced to, I won't say that important characters or roles. Uh, so that is something that did not go down very well with me. Uh, 
Mm. And I said, what the heck, let's, let's, let's try and make a film ourselves. Uh, let's try and do a role that uh, I want to do. I would enjoy doing myself. Mm. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, the reason of the sabbatical. Yeah, we did take a little bit of time uh, narrowing in the right subject. We did take a lot of time to uh, make some amount of money to, from being broke to making some money to making this film. Uh, it did take some time. But yeah, uh, had it not been the pandemic, probably we would have come a little earlier. Uh, mm. And plus it was a heavy VFX film. So yeah, VFX films take time and the kind of, uh, uh, hopefully the, the kind of feedback they're getting is that people are liking our VFX job. So yeah. that's, that's something that is really uh, commendable for our VFX team. And mm. uh, so yeah, the, the gap was basically because of that. And uh, we did try to meet a couple of studios early on in life mm. uh, but yeah nobody wanted to back us with a bible uh, without a bible proposal or uh, which is completely fine because it makes complete business sense for them mm. but we were adamant to uh, me and suraj both were adamant in doing what we wanted so here we are with flight and uh, considering everyone's talking about the trailer i'm hoping that they like the film as well no absolutely but you know what um mohit you know i think there does come a point though, right, in one's life when, you know, when you are doing well and when you are on a successful streak, regardless of which industry you're in, whether whether you're in Bollywood or, or Tollywood, whichever industry you're in, there, there, there is that sense of, um, I guess, disappointment sometimes, you know, when you do hit a roadblock or when you do sort of reach a stage where things around you are falling apart. How did you cope with that? I mean, did you, how did you deal, how do you deal with disappointments and rejection in life? I think... Uh... That comes naturally to me. Coping up with that, that comes naturally to me because not that I've been rejected a lot. Uh, yeah. I've been a sportsman since I was a kid. Mm. So the only one thing that we knew was you don't give up, you get up and you play the next match and you win. Mm. Uh, so that's what, uh, that's the attitude that's kept me going. And uh, yeah, you do hit roadblocks, you do feel sad, you feel down. But then uh, I have a wonderful wife who's always there to cheer me up. I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful mother, a wonderful brother. And Suraj, my mother, uh, my brother from another mother, as I would call him. So, yeah, everybody was there to support me. And uh, we, we kind of uh, just picked ourselves up and said, what the hell, let's do it. Man. Mm. There's no point in being negative about anything and cribbing and crying. Ultimately, you need to get up and do something about it. So, mm -hmm. like I've often said that if uh, I've heard a very, I heard a very interesting saying by a veteran when I was a part of a talent hunt. He said, yeah. if you don't get an opportunity, create one yourself. So, yeah. that's what we try to do. Absolutely. And I, and I can completely understand. And I know how difficult it is to be independent and to create your own content. And I can honestly relate with that. So I think, again, kudos goes to you and Suraj for uh, creating this initiative with Flight as well. But I just wanted to ask you, actually, um, Mohit, what does acting mean to you? And how do you kind of incorporate that ideology with every work or every sort of project you come across? I don't know. I, I think... I've, I've been more of an introvert uh, most of my life. Oh. And uh, acting gives you a form of expression. Acting makes you go, f makes me go free. Uh, the day I discovered uh, theater as a child, thanks to my teacher, Mr. Yuvraj Sharma, uh, the day I discovered theater with him, it really opened me up. I still remember as a child, probably he saw some potential in me and uh, he made me do stuff and he kept rehearsing with me even after school hours and I, I just can't forget that. Uh, he made me sing a solo song, uh, which was a very big thing for us in those times uh, in a, in our, on our annual day, which used to be held uh, at a very, very large scale. And that is where I realized I, I, just, I just enjoy it. Plus, I'm, I'm a huge uh, cinema freak. Uh, my father used to take us out for a film every weekend. And uh, somewhere, I think, I had that hidden emotion of uh, hero <laughs> So, yeah, it's got to do something with that. Uh, but yeah, I, I just enjoy it. I, it, it, right. it. I don't know how good or bad I am. I think that only the world will decide. But I enjoy myself. Yeah. And no, I think that's what, that's what works and that's what more important is. 
Yes, that's that's exactly what it is because I think especially in this industry because um you know I mean getting money uh, is very difficult you know but there is a milta or काफी परिश्रम के बाद मिलती है यू नो पैसा एंड आई थिंक दैट्स समथिंग व्हिच आई ऑफन टेल पीपल एंड काइंड ऑफ मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड दैट द क्रिएटिव इंडस्ट्री इज लाइक दैट एंड आई थिंक यू हैव टू हैव दैट पैशन इन ऑर्डर टू परस्यू इट इन द लॉन्ग टर्म एज़ वेल राइट आई थिंक यू देयर इज नो मेथड टू मैडनेस एज दे से एंड यू हैव टू बी अ लिटिल कुकू इन योर हेड टू ट्राई एंड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस इंडस्ट्री आई डोंट थिंक एनी सेन पर्सन एंड आई से दिस विद ऑल रिस्पेक्ट टू एवरीबॉडी you have to be a little coco in your head to come say that i love this i want to do this i mean uh, we are trying to do the most unbel- at least as actors or even as a director or even as producers the kind of tales we want to s- narrate on the screen are somewhat to a certain extent unreal most of them i right. won't say all of them but most of them are unreal and to actually believe in that with complete conviction and go ahead and do that it's like Uh, how many people do you see fighting 10 goons at the same time it's not <laughs> yeah. possible technically very yeah. few people can do it i think my my martial arts teacher can do it but uh, apart from that very few people can do it so uh, but we believe in that and we enjoy watching that so yeah you can't be very sane otherwise i'm i'm, yeah. I'm pretty educated enough to have gotten a very decent job mm. but yeah i was a little coco in my head so i said no no i i want to try this <laughs> yeah definitely i i completely completely reason with that as well but i think on a final note uh mohit you know we're talking about survival our prominent theme of our chat today has been about surviving and and uh survival so and obviously because flight is about that and given the fact that the film is releasing amidst a pandemic um you know where there's a lot of fear of coming to the cinema um obviously sanitization social distancing all these things are in place uh what do you think will give people the confidence to uh come back to cinema and support watching films in the cinema as well now see to be very honest this is a personal belief i could be completely wrong and i apologize to everybody and anybody who i might offend before i say that i really don't think cinemas are the reason for the virus spreading one because i think uh, like like the aviation industry uh, people who are taking extreme precautions in uh, in all their flights and uh, uh, i think our uh, theaters it uh, themselves are taking a lot of precautions uh, there is 50% capacity of you're sitting a, a little distance apart from everyone and if you wear your mask and there are sanitizers there they're sanitizing after every show i don't think that's the real reason I mean the only reason this virus can spread is if you're careless. If you're careless not enough not to wear a mask and move around. If you're careless enough to forget that there is actually exists a pandemic and uh, it's so uh, uh, funny or uh, I would say ironic that when this hashtag was suggested to us by Gautam uh, uh, uh of the hashtag of fight to survive it somewhere falls true to not only the pandemic which is right now the fight to survive for the entire human race but uh, for us also and for i think for everybody uh, i think in life you're fighting to survive now you that survival could be for something better that survival could be for luxury <laughs> however you want to put it you are fighting to survive you're fighting to survive at a job you're fighting to survive uh, in a rat race probably if i can call it yeah that. absolutely yeah yeah even in school i mean kids today poor guys i i feel that there is a lot of pressure on kids uh these days so i think this fight to survive is quite quite layered for us in terms mm-hmm. of a hashtag as well right yes and i think you're so right you know because people say live your life but i mean how often are we actually living our life you know if, like on a larger sort of uh sort of deeper level i was kind of thinking about it i'm just like well actually we're not really living life we're surviving life aren't we really exactly. everything we do it's not like um we're living it okay fine even the profession that we do right we love what we do but we but we're still having to survive right we're still having to survive and get the good projects get the good interviews and i can understand that and i think that's something which i feel is very interesting um that you pointed out there so thank you for sharing that with us thank you so much for having me but honestly mohit um honestly i really genuinely love the trailer and i think it looks like a very exciting film and i think the fact like you've created your own content it's so important um 
and uh you know to actually have the confidence to do that in a industry which is so filled with so many um you know pressure so much pressure so much competition you still did that and i think it could possibly be a trailblazer for hindi cinema so a huge congratulations to you on flight and wishing you all the very best for it i i don't think that was confidence though i think that was the madness like i said we are a little cuckoo in our head so yeah <laughs> I think that's where it comes from. But thanks so much for those compliments. Thank you so much for being so generous. And uh, keep keep being cuckoo in the head. So hopefully we get to see more great work emerge from. I, I don't think I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> I think everyone accepted me the way I am now. Yes, absolutely, and that's how they should be. But wishing you all the very best, Mohit. Thank you so much for Thank joining me on filming show. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.